feel well today? Yeah? No more congestion, nothing like that? No fever? No? Every, today is a good day? I'm Dr. Harper. I'm the director of the Neuromuscular Clinic here at the Children's Hospital of Richmond, and today is a very exciting day for us. So recently, for a condition called Duchenne's muscular dystrophy, there was a new gene that was approved um, by the FDA, which we can now offer for our Duchenne's muscular dystrophy patients. And Ben is our first patient at the Children's Hospital of Richmond to receive this gene. The gene was actually discovered in 1986, and it causes a progressive weakness where boys who have genetically inherited a change in their Duchenne's gene will lose the ability to walk between 8 and 12 years of age. Normally in their teenage years, they can also have difficulty with strength in their arms. They also have difficulty with their breathing. So having gene therapy to get back some of the protein that is missing and to make this a milder course really improves the quality of life for these um, boys, but really thinking of them now as young men. As soon as FDA approved it in June, we sent a message in the portal and kind of got on the list. He's had a lot of disease progression in the last year. He was walking around like the house and stuff what, probably a year and a half ago. In the last year, um, he, if he stands up for more than like 30 seconds, his legs kind of start to give out. So, um, but he does still have enough mobility where he can transfer himself with supervision which is huge. So if we can even just keep the mobility that he has, that would be really helpful going forward. All right, give me five. How this infusion works, it is a IV therapy or IV infusion. And what we do with this is we use a virus that serves like a car. We call it a vector. So they take this virus and they modify it so it doesn't make you sick, but it becomes a car or a vector to carry a shortened form of the gene to his muscle cells. And once that mini gene is kind of incorporated into his muscle cells, it will then begin to produce some of the dystrophin protein that he's missing because of a genetic change in his dystrophin or Duchenne's gene. So today, Ben received his one-time infusion of a Levitus. Um, this will be that one-time transfer of this mini dystrophin gene. And then in the clinic space, we'll continue to monitor him very closely, make sure there's no complications from this gene infusion. And then moving forward, he should begin to make this protein on his own. This is not a cure, but it does give him the opportunity to make the protein on his own and have a milder course. He can continue to make gains as far as his strength and maintain some of the strength that he currently has without further deterioration. This is super exciting because of the rapid progress that gene therapy is bringing and hopefully this is just the first of many gene therapies that we're gonna to bring to our neuromuscular patients for their best outcomes.